Your Peoria Riverman game highlights are brought to you by the shops at Grand Prairie. Cleared off the wall and out through to center by Michael Mercurio. Nick Neville from behind his net. Now starts forward, swings the pass up ahead for Piotrowski. Two goals for him last night. Now Marcel Gaba back. Piotrowski shoots, he scores! J.M. Piotrowski, nice little give and go. With Marcel Gobbout and the Riverman pick up exactly where they left off last night. J.M. Piotrowski, his third goal in two games. Once again, gets the scoring started for Peoria on the power play. 1-0 Peoria leads it, courtesy of number 40 in blue. Flex the right side. That one fired up the wall, unable to clear successfully was Carlson. Now in behind Amon. Pressure the near wall by Hageman on the right side. Piotrowski able to get to the line. Neville to the left. Cahill walks in, fires, save, rebound. Deflected in behind Piotrowski to Cahill. Base left circle. Now Neville to the right, Gobbout. Back to Neville. Touch to Cahill. Now Neville again. High slot to Gobbout. Top right circle to Hageman. Base the circle. He shoots. He scores! Alec Hageman fires one over the shoulder of Josh Benson. From the right wing circle, back to back, Amherst, Illinois, power play goals. Have the Riverman up 2-0, 14.20 to go in the first period. They've rebound back to Gossage, skates left, holds, trying to center that one through the slot, but to Miguel Diaz at the right point. On the right wing side, holding is Gossage. Fires down the corner for Philip Virgili. Back to Gossage, deep slot, he shoots that deflected wide. Rebound, that score. <laughs> Nick Miguel Diaz, just his second goal of the season. Quad City answers back on just their second goal against the Peoria Ribbon in 2023. They trim the Ribbon lead in half to two to one. Directed toward the front, bouncing puck swatted at by midair. By Patrick Gossage, but wide. Dion had his helmet ripped off his head. <laughs> He'll go right to the bench. Straplick though, in the left corner offensive zone. Pressured, turn the puck over to Slade, and he overskated it. Now Draplick again, left side over the line. Touch one the slot, Cahill, toe drags, Cahill holds, now looking back door, shot, score, Zach Wilkie! On oh, the back door, beautiful feed from Caden Cahill, showing off those hands that cut off, rung around by Gossage, and down the length of the ice. Wilkie quickly fires one up, that deflected to Widmar at center. Joe Widmar over the line. Skates the left half boards, throws on the brakes, Ribbon gets set up. Wilkie deep slot, looking to the left for Ernst. Now to Wilkie again, walks in, hands one off to Widmar, back to Wilkie. To the left, Ernst, now one-timer, Wilkie shot it high as Logan Nelson was going for the dive block right in, right in front of him. Durham to Ernst, there's a one-timer, Wilkie a shot was blocked. Came to the right side, Widmar to Wilkie again. Walks in, holds to Widmar, he fires, he scores! Joseph Widmar, his first goal in just his second game this season for the SPHL. It's an Amherst, Illinois power play goal, and because it was a major penalty, the Riverman remain on the Amherst, Illinois power play for the next two minutes and 40 seconds, but they get that critical goal we were talking about. Riverman up by a score of four to one. Joe Widmar, a bullet, rifles it in, high blocker side. One by the storm, Miguel Diaz at the point. There's a shot deflected, foot off by Jack Berry through traffic, that one knuckleballed on him and off a deflection. Now Golka again at the line, here's the shot, glove save through traffic, rebound, pucks loose in the net, score! Klitschko able to Berry. Berry made the initial stop, but it did produce a rebound. And Klitschko right on the doorstep. Able to bat it home. Trims the Ribbon lead to 4-2. This game is not over yet, folks. 10.56 to play in regulation time. Peeved, I forgot the great George Gwazdecki, a former Denver University head coach. Off the draw, Costello trying to cut one right to the goal mouth. Off the draw, nothing doing. Good save there by Jack Berry. Nelson trying to hold in, he's decked. Durham gets it out through center. In the middle for Hagman for the empty net. Off a deflection and wide. In the corner, Hagman picks it up. Pressure in the near right corner with a minute eight. Comes free run from Piotrowski for the empty net from the slot, he scores! And that will be the icing on the cake in this one as the Rubin extend their lead to five to two. 
J.M. Piotrowski, four goals in his last two games against the Quad City Storm. He puts the exclamation point on this one. 5-2, Ruman lead it with minute three to go in regulation time. Thanks for watching, Riverman fans, and we'll see you at the shops in this hockey season. Be sure to visit Genghis Grill for tons of exquisite tastes.